وش اللي ذكرك فينا ترانا ما توقعنا بعد هالغيبة تجينا يا ناسينا يا ناسينا This is not what the region taught us Okay, when I say religion I always refer to the divine heavenly religion Heavenly religion is one. That means teaching people to acknowledge one God and to worship the only one God. And to follow the teaching of the Prophet, the messenger that God has sent to them. And this kind of religion is always the same. But then you come out with man-made religion. Somebody become the founder of a new sect, a new form of religion. And at the end of the day, you know, all this thing is going further and further from the divine teaching. Because it is man-made religion now. And when man-made religion is not pure, and they don't have strong foundation, they keep on changing. Before, you don't hear any religion allow men and men to get married. True or not? Now, they allow men and men get married now. And not marry outside the church, inside the church now. The church is so confused now. Now who make this law? Do the religion allow this? No. But human start to change and create their own law. And they want the God to accept this law. They want the religion to accept. That kind of religion we don't accept. A religion that keep on changing we don't accept. A religion is something very solid. Something that God has made it right for us and God knows what is the right thing for us to do and you cannot change. What you can do, some changes in the religion, is no more a divine religion. Now what is happening to the world? A lot of people is not following the teaching of the religion. Why? Because every people is so busy with dunya. Everything people talk is dunya, material, world, money. Everything is money, money, money. And this is what the Satan work very hard. Every day the Satan work and plan. And every year he come up with new project. Who come up with new product? The Satan. If he fail his project in 2000 fail, he is going to come 2001 and then the new project with new slogan. And a lot of people are not aware of the work of Satan. Because we are too deep involved in dunya. I give you an example, brother. How many people talk to themselves? Hardly. When you look at the mirror, what do you see? What do you see? You see yourself, true or not? Now, do you ever, once a while, sit in front of the mirror, talk to yourself? Hardly you do that. I give you an example. Omar ibn Khattab, the second caliph, said, Hasibu anfusakum qabla antu hansib. You must always take yourself into account before you will be accounted in the hereafter. Now you look at the mirror. When you smile at the mirror, what do you see? What do you see, brother? You smile back to you, true or not? Now you say to the mirror, I hate you. What do you see? He will say to you, I hate you too. True or not? You never experience when you look at the mirror and say, I smile and you say, I hate you. The mirror say, I love you. No. If you smile at the mirror, the mirror yeah, shows sour face. Don't look at the mirror anymore. Something is wrong with the mirror. It always reflects yourself. Now you ask yourself, what do you want in this world? Is the dunya everything for you? You see what has happened? We are prepared to sacrifice our time, ourselves, our family for this world. We forget that this world is temporary. It's not permanent. And the world has corrupted all of us. Not only you, not only lay people like all of us, even high priests, religious people also have been corrupted by you. This is the cause yeah, of the downfall of humans. You understand, brother? So we hope that we go back to the spiritual side of our life. 
to enhance the quality of our life. And Allah will help us, inshallah. Now.